I'm Leona Anderson, 27, representing the beautiful city of Olonga Pacific. Hi, uh, MPI, Olonga Pacific. Okay naman po. Um, you joined also Ray Nana as a showtime. Yes. So, ngayon, you'll be joining the Miss Philippines, Mrs. Philippines International uh, Hotel. So, what made, what made uh, you decide to join the Mrs. Philippines International Well, um, I really wanted to do charities. It's one thing that I am, um, aim ko talaga since, um, college ako. So, I started, um, I started supporting the Home for the Abused Girls, that's in Olongapo, so it's located in Kabalan. And that was one of my projects with my friends before. So every Saturday, since it was part of our NSTP, we had to go do activities with the kids, learn about their story. And that pushed me throughout on my fourth year of college. I went to doing my thesis as self-worth of male children. So these male children came from Preda. So uh, we had the comparisons of the male and the females, how they, um, paano yung pagtingin nila sa sarili nila, how they give worth to themselves. And um, I saw that um, many of these children have either been abused, uh, grew up in an environment that's very, um, very violent. And since um, in psychology, they always say a kid is like a sponge. Whatever you feed it, tanggap lang yan ang tanggap. And I really believed that when I saw the experiences of these children. So um, I really want to reach out. And I believe, as before being a single mother, I really strive to give the best kind of environment to my daughter, the best kind of future that I could ever give. I kilang ko itimbang yung pagiging single mom, working just to put food on the table for her to eat. Um, savings for education, everything like that. But at the same time, I have to give her the equal love and attention that she needs as growing up. So, um, I wanted to do charity more. That's why I got into this pageant. And swak na swak siya kasi when it was um, introduced to me, they said it is a charity pageant. So, I find it as a window where I can grow more. How many charities or how long you've been doing a charity work? Well, so charity works, I'm, since I was just starting on my career before, it's hard to give financially. So that's why I say I would like to compose and um, submit myself doing the three H's, which is the head, heart, and the hands. Because, um, yes, nakakapagbigay ka ng finance, but does it come from the heart? Um, what I see that touches most is how you give it to them, um, how you show that they are not needy, kaya sila nandoon. Sino ba may gusto na magpunta ng isang charity and be treated that kaya tayo nandito nangangailangan tayo? No one wants to feel like they're the underdogs, that they're, no, they're nothing, they're no one. So I want to feel that they are still loved equally as those na meron. And hindi dahil sa awa. Binibigay. Okay, so what are the qualities that you possess that uh, best fit uh, to the Mrs. Philippines International? So, um, like I said, I would really like to compose myself of the three H's. So, um, I'm the kind of person na hindi mo makikita malungkot. May dinadalang problema man yan, nakangiti pa rin. And yes, smiles. Smiles are very contagious. Um, you start a smile in the morning to someone who's having a bad morning, and it really makes their whole day beautiful. It adds color, and um, yes, I'm 27, but most think I'm only 16. So smiles um, make you look younger also. So that's one, one thing. Uh, okay, so what's the best uh, thing about uh, being a single mom? <laughs> But the best thing about being a single mom is you learn how to be independent. Um, madalas pag my partner tayo, we tend to depend on our partner. We depend on them um, financially, emotionally, by making decisions especially, because we have to. When you're a single mom, you have no one to ask. You have to cope up on things on your own. You have to budget your time with work with how you do your finance and with how you give attention to your child. And that's even busier when your child starts to study. Um, I am this kind of hands-on mom. 
I'm able to do um, sidelines like these pageants, um, uh, showbiz. But I'm at the same time, I always give time to my daughter, and I believe that you should really give time, not hayaan na siyang lumaki sa katulong lamang. Ang katulong from the word is to help you out. It's not for you um, to take your place as the mom. Okay, so if given a chance to win a Mrs. Philippines International and also to represent our um, country, the Philippines, what can we expect from you? Um, you can expect um, the kind of energy na hindi mamamatay. I'm young, that is my edge. Um, I'm always on the go. I love to be on the go. Uh, I like I like being busy. It likes adds more energy to me, and I I really love it. I like to be productive. So maasahan niyo ko pagdating na mga courtesy calls or kailangan ng tulong dito. I'm just one call away, and I will always submit myself to whatever needs to be done. How can you make uh, people inspired? So, when inspiring people, each and one of us has our own story. And for me, I feel that I will inspire mostly those who are single moms, as of now. Um, since I was a single mom, I would always look at myself na, uh, walang mag magmamahal sa akin. Because, syempre, kung mahal ako, kailangan mahalin din yung anak ko. Because we're a package. But um, my life right now is very happy. So all you have to do is believe. Believe in our Creator. Um, always pray. Put Him in the center of everything. Walang trial na binibigay si Lord sa atin na hindi natin kaya. He's giving you that kind of trial because He wants you to be someone, someone stronger. And kailangan kayanin mo yun. If hindi mo kaya, He's always there din naman. So I always submit everything up to him. Ayan, so aside from joining the pageant, or ano nung abang sinulihan mo na mga pageants natin? So I started year 2013. My very first pageant was Miss Silka. And um, I wasn't able to get into uh, the tops that time since it was my very first pageant. Then I moved on to Mutya ng Olongabo. I was the uh, pioneer year. And if kilala nyo si, which kilala nyo si Miss Faith Garcia? She was um she was the title there, and I was her first runner up. And um, next was at Philippine Merchant Marine Academy in um, Zambales, San Narciso. I got um, that was also a pioneer year, so I'm part of their um, organization right now. Whenever they have pageants, they always get me as um, their chairwoman of scores. And um, that, that one was a, a very broad scope of kind of pageants because um, you're exposed to many, many men. Of course, seamen. And um, it's how you, um, how you communicate with them. So I was able to learn a lot, especially in the shipping company industries. Um, my next pageant after that was um, year 2020, after I gave birth. So um, this was a grand, ba grand ambassadress of the Universe Philippines. So nakapaghakot ako ng seven awards that night for the regional. But since tayo sa pandemic, hindi natuloy na ang pageant. And until now, I feel that they're having a hard time when it comes to the funds. Kasi now you have to think of the swab test, things like that. Is everyone vaccinated before you go on? So isang sayang kasi the laban nun was for um, Central Luzon. And then we will do um, all over Philippines. And then um, my next one was um, Mrs. Kumu Universe. Um, my very first pageant online. <laughs> Wala akong scope na sabi ko, how do you do this um, virtual world? It's, it's so confusing, everything's on camera. Uh, the demands are even harder than an actual pageant. So, um, sobrang hirap. But I was able to get the title of that one. And then, um, now, the Reina ng Tahanan. That was like, um, more of introducing the normal way we do pageants. Although walang audience. And yes, kasama pa rin yung protocols of pandemic. So there was a live and then there was taping. So the demands of it 
is even busier because kagagali mo lang ng live, you have to go for the, the taping for the weekly. So, super busy ng schedules. And right now, here at Mrs. Um, Philippines International. Okay, so, so since ang dami mo lang nasalihan na um, since you were, um, hindi ka pa nun ano, nanay that time, sumali ka ng mga pageant. So ngayon, you are joining the Mrs. Philippines International. What do you think is, uh, you know, um, hardest adjustment na, na experience mo uh, joining the Mrs. Philippines International? Uh, one of my hardest adjustments would be um, needing to level with my other candidates. Um, Age-wise, it's hard because they have more experience than me. Um, they're more open to this kind of world of the, the misses, so-called, misses kind of pageants. So um, I know that most of them are really into um, charity. And yes, this is the charity um, kind of pageant right now. So uh, I find it as... Um, my way to also get in. I do not want to level up with them when it comes to doing charities because everyone should have their own un unique, un kind of being unique. So, um, um, I find it really hard, but I will cope up with it and I hope to learn a lot from them. Are you a risk taker? I am a risk taker. I am crazy when it comes to taking risks. Yes, I just keep on going. If it will fail, then you learn something. Either you fail or you win. It's always a win-win situation. You always get something out of it. Are you ready to take the responsibility of Mrs. Philippines International just in, just in case you win the title? I am definitely ready for it. I know it's a big task, but being a single mom, hindi ko hinindihan. So, ito pa kaya. Okay, so thank you so much, Mrs. Philippines International, Olonga Po City, Leona Luisa Anderson. Yeah. Or anyway, um, a last question to say. I'm just curious about your surname. Ano, ano nga ba? Do you have a foreign blood or you're Pinay? So my dad is uh, Danish and I grew up in Canada, came here to the Philippines at the age of 13. So I didn't know the native tongue of, tongue of the Filipinos, which is Tagalog. I had to learn it for one year, and so rang hirap. So, um, also with the culture of the Filipinos, it's also different. All, kahit na I was growing up with my mom there in Canada, and she's also purely Filipino. She introduces it to me, but she's I, I hear her more speaking Ilocano. So the Ilocano is something I already understand. I just don't want to speak because it sounds awkward. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sige, sige. Um, invite me yung mga followers ng Pageant Trend to support you. To all the followers of Pageant Trend, kindly support me. Um, I'm a very bubbly person, very fun. So um, if you want to open up talk topics, you can kindly PM me. And I have time for it once in a while. If not, Magla live na lang ako para sa inyong lahat. I love you. Wow. Oh, last question na. Who is Leona Luisa Anderson? Uh, Leona Luisa Anderson is um She's very unique. Yes, and uh, she's born ready. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you.